This afternoon, you can still see blood where neighbors say a man believed to be the victim's live in boyfriend took aim at her. Neighbors say at the time of the shooting, the woman was holding a little boy. A terrifying morning for neighbors living near Tyreman and Whitcomb on Detroit's west side after a double shooting. I seen the lady and she was just laying there in the middle of the street, so I thought she might have been drunk or something. I thought she had spilled her liquor or something, so I stopped. And I went to get out to go see what was wrong with her, and then I think there was blood. That shooting happened around 640 Thursday morning. Police say a woman believed to be in her 20s and a young boy had been shot. So I checked the pulse to see if they were still alive, but they wasn't. So I went to work on the little boy. Police say the woman died on the scene. The young boy was taken to an area hospital in critical condition, but is now stable. So I'm real, and these kids are young. You know what I mean? And it's just tragic. And then the baby, it just fresh in my mind. Her laying there, her eyes open, like nobody could do nothing for her. A neighbor who didn't want to be identified for fear of retaliation says she believes the gunman was the victim's boyfriend. She says she saw the shooter standing over the victim in the street before taking off down a nearby alley. That had to be really scary. Yeah, it was scary. I didn't know if he was going to come back or um, if somebody else was involved or... Yeah, it definitely has me reeling right now. A situation not only sad, but frustrating for families who call this neighborhood home. I opened the door to take my daughter to school and I hear and I see it saw the police and I hear there's a dead woman in the street. And that's the third time I hear there's dead people around my area. Police now taking this time to share this message. We have a moral obligation to keep our children safe. Um, unknown this relationship. However, if it was a conflict, we need to learn how to deal with conflict other than using gunfire. Police say that shooter is in custody tonight. They're still working to determine the circumstances surrounding the shooting, but believe it may be a case of domestic violence. Reporting here on the West Side, Whitney Burney, 7 News, Detroit.